First things first, I'd like to say happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there and those of you that are serving in the U.S. military. Uh, thank you all for your protection and thank you all for your sacrifice. All right, how are we doing out there? First things first. Uh, actually, first thing, that was first thing first. My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light projection technology game. And one of the things I've been doing the last couple of days is doing a lot of live demonstrations just showing you that no smoke and mirrors, I can show you live exactly how amazing the technology is and how it can do things that other screen paints will not dare or try to attempt to do. Now, one of the interesting things about the Supreme 8 is because it's black, it does have the ability to pull a very high white level. Now keep in mind a white level is just not going to match a white screen because a white screen is going to have the ability to produce very high white levels because it's white. Just like a black screen can produce contrast, a white screen cannot produce contrast because, let's face it, it just can't. It's just not a black screen. It has no form of pulling any form of contrast whatsoever. Now, uh, the screen we have in the middle is some dark gray screen paint. Uh, no, it's not a titanium black, but it's some dark gray screen paint. Um, and this is just to show you that even when we did, when we're doing demonstrations against light gray screens, or we're doing demonstrations against white screens, of course, you can see the advantage point. But now we have a screen with a little bit more uh, contrast in it. And just to show you exactly how amazing the white levels are on our black screen, you will see from time to time the screen will have the ability to blend in with a dark gray screen. Also to consider the fact that the black screen will be able to produce 100% true contrast where the dark screen will not be able to do this. Now, the reason why I'm also doing this is because this kind of debunks, and we've done this demonstration live, it debunks the theory of people saying, well, a black screen can only produce a dirty, muddy image because it can't produce a white level. All right, so with that being said, let's get it started. So, okay, let's begin. I think I have my phone over here, and let's start. So first thing first, we're gonna do a lovely metal scene with some flowers. Now be expected that the uh, dark gray screen will produce a bit of a higher white level due to the fact that it is a little lighter. That's just basic common sense 101 that something darker will produce a darker white level, something lighter will produce a higher white level. But the theory here is the fact that our black screens produce a high enough white level where it can actually blend or come very close to a dark gray screen. But one of the things the dark gray screen will not have the ability to do is to pull contrast. And I've watched demonstrations, I guess other people using just everyday black paint, and they'll say, no, you don't want to go with a black screen because a black screen will give you a muddy, dirty image. You will not be able to make out the picture. And as you can see, the black screen being here, and here, yeah, I got paint on me, um, you can make the picture out perfectly fine. This is my cardboard projection screen that I built yesterday using the Supreme, uh, or sorry, Supreme 8, the true ambient light projection screen paint. I'm just going to show you how bright and beautiful the colors are on our black technology. Screen paint that is supposed to be so dirty for black screen paints or mixes, where they call them, for them to be that dirty that you can't see an image, 
I see an image crystal clear here and here. No problem. And keep in mind we're doing this in a fully lit environment. Now I'll take my lights out. I don't know how much of that's going to do because we have light cascading in over there. show you how high the white levels are on our black technology. That's why I did the two screens, the two screens side by side, showing that all black screens aren't the same. One of the hardest things for a black screen to do is be to produce a high enough white level to be able to blend in with a dark gray screen. And we've done this demonstration on the light gray screen. We've also done this demonstration on the um, white screen. I'll put those links at the bottom. Sorry about my makeshift crate setup right there. All right, let's go over to, let's see, we'll do some outer space. Now see how the background of the gray, outer space, key point is this is an outer space scene. So. The background of the gray is not going to be able to pick up black. In outer space, when you're looking at outer space, the background is supposed to be black, not gray. So because our screen has black technology embedded into it, it has the ability to pick up 100% true contrast. See the areas right there where it's gray? I'm gonna go back just a minute. As a matter of fact, I can stay right here. You can see it up close. This is supposed to be black. This is, a, this is outer space. And see how it's coming up gray here? Because it can't pick up contrast. Doesn't make a difference how dark the screen is. If it's not black, it will not pick up contrast. And I've said that, we mind you, we designed a dark gray screen paint called uh, Titanium Black Silver, which I don't think I'm going to keep very long. Because like I said, you know, the technology we have here, it's better. It's better than the Titanium Black Silver, it is. And here we are, lights on. See the detail you have here in the planet, and then when it comes here, it whitewashes. It washes out, and that's something you don't want. You're not getting a brighter image. Tell me, you're not getting a brighter image. You're getting a washed out image. All right, let's go over here and let's grab uh, the fireplace. Now this is OLED's fireplace demonstration. See already? See how it's gray? The background is black. Now, some OLED does demonstrations for their TVs. OLED does uh, that. They use their technology for those TVs. Um, the background is always black. So one of the problems you have is that that screen can't pull up that back background. If it's coming up gray, it just shows you that no, it doesn't have the ability to pull contrast. Starfield. Starfield will show you where it's at. If your screen is pulling contrast, a Starfield will show you where it's at. I forgot the last time to post a link. I'll post a link where I do the Starfield demonstration. Look at all the light we have in the environment. Black screen can easily pull up. True contrast.
still have light in the environment, as you can see. There's not a lot of light. Any light hits this screen. This screen has to be, in order for that strip of gray, in order for that to pull up a somewhat close enough to a dark enough image, this entire environment would have to be dark in order to do it. So as you can see, with the uh, dark gray screen, you will be able to achieve somewhat higher white levels, but with our technology, our white levels are extremely good. That we can actually come close to matching a, um, come close to matching, sorry, a, uh, a, a, a dark gray screen. That's the best of both worlds. A black screen that produces a high enough white level to be able to almost come close to blending to a light gray screen and producing contrast. But when you put on contrast, the light gray, sorry, the dark gray screen cannot pull contrast, not even at a dark gray. That's what I said when we designed that titanium black, that silver titanium black, just to show you that I told you that the black screen was going to have the ability to be able to pull a higher contrast because it's black. But not only that, it's able to blend in to the other screen due to the fact that the screen is, um, is uh, our screen produces a higher white level. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting contrast and white levels at the same time. Okay, our lights back on again. Do a lot of trotting up and down the stairs, I really do. There you go. That's why I said when people say, oh, the screen was so dark I couldn't see it. Impossible. We've done those demonstrations live. Now if you care to see those live demonstrations, they will be posted at the bottom of the comment section. Check it out. Also to be posted in the video description. Our screen paint is available on our website with free worldwide shipping. It's available anywhere in the world for free. Free worldwide shipping of course. Um, it will come with, as soon as we get them in, the canvas blackout cloth pretty soon. Also too, I uh, want to add really quick, um, see if I'm missing anything here. Uh, yes, our holiday sale will be ending probably around Christmas um, day. We're going to end the uh, sale. So it's pretty lengthy sale. I would take advantage of it while it's there. And like I said, keep in mind winter time for some of us, you're going to be tucked in deep. It's good to have a, an amazing screen, a home theater set up, maybe you can give it away for a Christmas gift. Also too, for those of you living out there in the warmer states, keep in mind our technology is fully weatherproof. You can take it outside and you can watch your movies outside if you choose. It is also ultra short though compatible. All right, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Okay, I got a little more to go. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. And God bless. Put our star fill back on.